All right, guys, I'm currently standing outside of a 2020 Honda Odyssey. This is going to be the EXL package. So if you're looking for leather, this is the starting point for that. Um, let's walk up here to the Moroni sticker. You guys are welcome to pause the video here for a quick brief of some additional information. There she is. Up here, it's going to talk about the fuel economy. You got 19 for the city, 28 for the highway. So you get that combined rating of 22. Down on the right hand side, talks about your safety ratings. Where are the vehicles made at? It's a U.S. made product, Lincoln, Alabama. The price point, and then the list of features, which we're gonna go over today. All right, so the uh, EXL comes standard with remote start. To use remote start, you simply hit lock twice. Hold this hold button down for a few seconds. Lights are gonna flash. Lights flash again. There they are. Now it's on. It heats and cools the car to 72 degrees, runs for 10 minutes. It uh, goes to 10 minute intervals. Let's say five minutes have passed. I want it to run again for 10 more minutes. Just repeat the process. Just double click, hold, lights flash. There we go. Lights flash again. Now it's running for 10 minutes from that point. Um, just simply shut this off. I just hit the hold button and it's deactivated. Now your remote start has a range of 180 feet or 60 yards and the doors remain locked. Now as we snake towards the front, you can have that 3.5 V6 with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Honda Sensing comes standard, so safety is its middle name. Uh, you got the lane keep assist for your highway driving. You have your forward collision, magnetic braking, and your adaptive cruise control, okay? You're gonna have your daytime running lights, kind of curved right in here, wraps around towards the top, nice little bit of chrome in the top of the nose, and then right back into your headlights. Fog lights come standard. Nice little lunar silver color here. As we wrap around, guys, you got those 18 inch alloyed rims. You got heated side mirrors. They're going to be body colored with your turning indicators on them. A little bit of chrome action going on in the handles, a little bit of blingage. You're also going to have these smart entry. All right, so let's lock the doors, make sure they're locked. I can keep, have this key fob in my pocket, my purse, jacket, you name it. I can walk up to the car, put my hand in the handle, and it unlocks it for me. All right, now as I'm leaving the car, I had to keep up in my pocket wherever. I can hit this button with confidence. I can walk away knowing the door is locked. How cool is that? Now also, if I left my uh, purse, key, whatever, in the car, I cannot lock myself out of the car or lock my key in the car. It simply unlocks. So pretty nice, pretty convenient. As we're checking out here on the side, guys, you got a little bit of chrome around the windows. You have a capless tank, let's make sure it's unlocked. Just push that door, opens right up, no longer debates, arguments with that little $2 cap, it's just a slide and go, makes it really easy. Now when the car's locked, lock that up, this won't pop open, all right? So you're all good. Now as we swing around here along the side, we're gonna have those LED taillights, a multi-angle rear camera, and a power lift gate. So you can hit the button on the door, hit the button on the key fob, there she goes. Now, as we're taking a sneak peek down here, you got a nice deep trunk, some additional cubby space. You have your emergency funnel right there, just in case if you have an emergency gas can with a collapsible lid, you want to use that so it won't get stuck in the capless tank. A little bit of 12 volt action back here, just in case for the kiddos, whoever needs to charge some stuff. Now, we're gonna have the seats fold down nice and flat. Let's unbuckle that, check that out. Same thing, unbuckle, fling it down. So, need, to, uh, need some storage space? Challenge accepted, throw it all in there, all right? You got some air vents back here, adjustable air vents with a 12 volt plug in over here. Some additional cup holders. You're also gonna have your third seat belt right up above. All right, let's throw these seats back. This is a nice mocha interior color. All right, power tailgate. I can just hit that button right there. It has a height adjuster. So if I have a branch or um, some, some kind of a storage in the way in the garage, I can adjust that by simply click and hold it. And it will open to that position every single time. Power sliding doors. 
So once again, you got a nice Moco leather. If you take out this seat here, you guys, you have the Magic Slide seats. So simply squeeze the bar right here and you can slide it side to side. All right, I'll have a video about that a little more in detail. Down below, you're gonna have a couple of USB ports, fast charge, 2.5s. I know everyone's about technology, so when you're on the road, it's gonna be very convenient. Climate control back here for the kiddos or whoever's back. You also can lock them out, take absolutely control. A little bit of blind action going on. Some additional cup holder space. Nice little pockets, cup holders. Another cool thing, bring this down. There we go, nice little tray, some additional cup holders. You know, for they have a reason, hey, I gotta stop using the restroom from all the liquids I've been drinking. Carpet mats come standard, all right? No additional charge or anything like that. The spare tire is gonna be down under there. Now, these middle seats do slide forward and back. You get a uh, squeeze bar, just like that. So you can adjust accordingly, okay? Got a little button action here. Let's close that door. Take a little sneak peek up front, guys. All right, you guys know about power windows, power locks, all that's pretty much straightforward. You're gonna have your two seat memory, so on the back of each key fob, let's grab it here, it's in my pocket, there it is. So on the back of this key fob, you have a key one, and there's a key two. So you can set up your side mirrors and your seat and save those settings to that particular key fob. You can have some additional cubby space down below. Power seating. You know, you got your forward, you got your back, you got your tilt of the base for up and down, and then you got your raise and lower, and then your little tilt for the recline and with the lumbar. You have your hood release right there. Park and brake and everything right there. Um, so with the park and brake, let's say if you're at a, waiting for a train or going through the drive through stuff like that, instead of shifting to park, because that's so hard, you have the whole brake right there. Just hit that button and hold your brake so you can take your foot off the brake and just hit the gas when you want to go. You have electrical parking brake now, no longer that little lever that's going to be down that you had to push down. We're also going to have the blind spot information, guys. So the blind spot information, if there's a car and you blind spot, it lights up, okay? The only time it talks back to you is when you're using your turning indicator to turn while someone's in that blind spot. Then it will beep. You can customize your sensing to your particular likes from that car. It's going to be a push button start, so you got to make sure you have the key fob here in the car. Put your foot down on the brake, hit the start button. All right, over here, you got your power sliding doors. Uh, simply you can turn those on or off, so I can deactivate those. Now they're gonna be manual doors compared to power doors. Uh, just kind of hit the button, opens and close from that point. Pretty much straightforward, as you can see. So I'd be like, yep, you guys are at school, get out, quick. You have your tailgate. You can't just actually tap it, you have to click and hold it. Um, from that point, you have your vehicle stability assist. Forward collision, magnetic braking. For some reason, on God's green earth, if you ever want to shut that off, you can. Just hit that button, it's a click and hold. Um, then you have your road departure. Right now it's on, so now it's off. And it's on. It's gonna be a telescope steering wheel. Pull that down. Goes in and out, up and down. As usual, find what's best comfortable for you. Auto headlights. Now you can have all of your Honda sensing features over here on the right hand side. You can tell when it's available by the green writing. You get your adaptive cruise control, that, that's the ACC, and you have your lane keep assist system. So with your adaptive cruise control, you can use that in, in at any given time when you have your cruise control on. Um, so we hit, this is your cruise button set. I can adjust the speeds. Obviously we're not driving, so it won't let me uh, adjust from that point. But once you have your cruise control on, just hit the adaptive part. I can set the distance between us and the car in front of us. More lines means further away, less lines means closer. Now, once it detects a car, just like this button shows, it's gonna have a little white car above uh, those lines. Then you have your lane keep assist. It's gonna be for your highway driving between 45 and 90 miles an hour. Uh, the lines right now are hollowed out. Uh, there you go, they're gonna be solid white lines once it finds lines on the road and you're going the proper speed. So that's gonna be a visual confirmation once again. Uh, both of those features are gonna have a beep. You can turn that beep on or off. If you guys have any questions how to do that, just feel free to contact me or drop a comment down below. Um, you're gonna have some shifter pedals. So if you got the car in sport mode, you can actually manually shift up and down. 
You have all of your media stuff right over here. So as we hit this button, you got a little bit of action going on about your trip. So with our current tank size, we have 250 miles, you know, the distance we drove in, average fuel, all that good stuff from that point. You got all kinds of goodies in here. All right, and you're also gonna have volume control, stuff for your music and all that. It's hands-free, free phone, so as you get an incoming call, you can choose to answer my phone call. You're also gonna have voice command. You can click and hold that, say, hey, call Crazy Honda Chris on mobile phone, gives me a call. All right, so that's gonna be everything right here in this action is going on. We did touch base about the push button already. Let's go to the home screen up here. So it's gonna be hands-free like I mentioned earlier. You can pair up to six different phones. You got your vehicle settings, so you can customize all of your, uh, when the doors lock, lights, um, all of your Honda sensing features, everything like that. So when you buy a new Honda, I will help you set that up and always help you to change that. You got your text messages, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto from that point. If you have an Apple phone, it's just a simple plug and play. Um, Android Auto, you have to download Android Auto onto your phone, allow all the permissions, then it's a plug and play from that point. Uh, what that does, it displays your Google Maps and other compatible apps right up there uh, while charging your device, okay? Uh, the outlet for that is going to be right down here. The USB with the picture of the phone is just plug and plug, living the dream. Where to be and what a boom. All right, let's kind of see what else is going on over here. A little swipe action going on. You can have quite a bit of radio options. So you got FM, AM, Bluetooth, satellite radio. You get three months of satellite radio. You guys can read all of that from that point. Volume knob right here. Now you can change the brightness of your screen. So your nighttime driving, this kind of bugs you. Is simply click that little uh, sun and moon button and you can change the brightness. We'll go back home. You're going to have that multi-angle rear camera, like I mentioned. Put your foot down on the brake. We're going to push that down the reverse. We'll display right there. Down here on the bottom left-hand corner, you got all these cool little touch buttons. Um, they kind of show you how the camera acts, okay? So the first one's going to be a nice 180 view. You can catch a little more of the cars coming from the sides um, right behind you. And then it's straight down from your rear bumper. You're going to have your cross-traffic monitoring system. That's to simply turn it on or off. So it's off. It's on. Um, as we're backing up, a car is coming from the side. Um, it will let us know. It will beep and point out what direction it's coming from. We'll put that back in park. We're going to have a tri climate. Right now, I have everything synced. Let's unsync that so you can see what's going on. Rear climate, just hit this button over here. I can lock them out. Just as simple as a click of a button right up there. I can adjust everything, different modes. Pretty nice, pretty clean and quick. Let's hit that button again, it goes back to the menu. Your heated side mirrors is with the rear defroster. Front climate, right back, same kind of concept. I can change everything. Head of a button. All right, you got heated seats, three tier, you got low, medium, and high, just for the front seats here. Idle stop, idle stop is gonna make you more fuel efficient for your city driving. Um, so let's say if you get to a stop sign or at a train, anywhere you're going to be waiting probably for a few seconds um, it will partially shut off the engine now the engine has to be up to temp it goes corresponding with your climate control too as well if it's trying to get your climate to a certain thing it will not um, shut off it has to be on certain criteria okay uh, for more additional information feel free to contact me about that but yeah you're supposed to increase your fuel economy with that if you don't like that you have to shut it off every single time just kind of click and hold this button down you can see it by a little orange a right up there now I turn it back on because I want to be fuel efficient. You got your snow mode, changes how your car performs to optimize your handling in that kind of environment. As you notice right above the P for the park, there's going to say snow. So when I get back in the car, I know I'm in snow mode. Simply just hit this button again to highlights normal. Now I'm back in normal. There it goes. You have an econ button. So as I smack that, get this nice little green leaf down below. Now it's gone. It's gonna make you more fuel efficient for your highway driving. It changes the RPMs of your car. You're gonna sacrifice acceleration power and AC power to get better fuel economy. Um, 
you can keep it on for your city. It just won't be as effective because of the stop and go. Depending on your driving habits, you may see anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon. All right, so you got a couple different drives. You got a regular drive and a sport drive, like I mentioned earlier. You can tell the difference by seeing the two. It's gonna be up there, D for drive, hit the button again. It's gonna ask for sport as the same button. So pretty easy, pretty nice. All these buttons are gonna highlight when you hit them. Gives you a nice little point of reference. All right, back in park. You have a nice little 12 volt down here. Little cubby space. Nice big tray. Some cup, uh, cup holders. Little tray action again. Some nice storage with an aux. A couple USBs, your Apple CarPlay. Pretty deep. So, as we kind of wrap around over here, you got a nice deep glove box. Nice leather, kind of all around. It's gonna be a two-tone. I don't know if you can see that. You got a little bit of black, a little bit of mocha going on uh, for the mocha interior. These are pretty darn comfortable, guys. You can have an auto demi rear mirror, okay, with your home link for your garage door opener. A little bit of lights within the visor, with the mirror. You have a one-touch power moonroof. Hit that button, opens, tilts, close, all that good jazz. A little place for the sunglasses. Then you have a little compensation mirror there so you can keep eye on the kiddos, cargo, pets, whatever kind of animals you have back there. Just kind of doing a nice little walk around here. All right, guys, so that, that's pretty much going to be the 2020 Honda Odyssey EXL. Let's take one last look on the outside. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment down below, or if you'd like to share your experience with the Honda Odyssey, I'd love to hear it. Drop it down below as well, okay? Uh, if you guys want to be uh, more serious and just want to kind of, you know, contact me, Crazy Honda Chris at Randy Kill Honda, or if you guys have purchased in the past and have any other questions, I'm always here to help everyone out. All right, guys, well, that's my 2020 Honda Odyssey EXL video. Thank you for watching.